everyone welcome to dancing with bella today i'm going to be sharing with you guys my little techniques on how i like to manifest more money at the strip club most of these techniques i'm going to be giving you guys are based on the law of attraction and if you guys don't know what the law of attraction is i really suggest you guys go research it and learn about it because this literally changed my whole entire life anyways i'm gonna get into the tips because i have several of them that i need to discuss with you guys and the first one has to do with smell i know this might sound a little weird and stuff but i like to smell my money and what i like to do is pick up a bill and i get into this sort of meditation state so i basically close my eyes and i just smell the money i basically do that for about 20 seconds or so and it really gets me in the state of mind because if you guys have noticed money has a distinct smell to it i don't even know how to describe it but i low-key love the smell of money and for those who don't know money holds a lot of energy so when you're smelling the money make sure that you're also raising your vibrations by smiling or laughing when you're smelling the money you can also say mantras or you could just say thank you to the money you know talk to it but be positive with it because like i said money has a lot of energy you got to make sure that you're in a good mindset while you're doing this because if you have negative thoughts saying oh um i'm gonna do this but in reality i know i'm not gonna make any money then it's not gonna work because this only works with our emotions but yeah smelling money is one of the techniques i love to do and i feel like this is the one i use the most so yeah try it out and let me know what happens another technique i like to use that is similar to the one I just discussed is touching the money you know like just listen to it touch it feel it you know look at it make sure you're at one with it you know get familiar with the noise get familiar with the touch and the feel you know like just love the money it's your friend you know like just I don't know <laughs> when I start doing this to the money it literally feels like an orgasm for real and that's how you're supposed to do it you know you're supposed to be happy with it you're supposed to you know have joy and stuff give it good energy and if you think that's a little silly what you can do is just basically count your money and you'll still be able to hear it and feel it at the same time do this for about 20 seconds and just get used to the money we're trying to build a relationship with money the more you're aware of it I feel like the more you will attract it. Now for this next one, you're either going to need a glass of water or a bottle of water. You know, a lot of people don't know how powerful water can be and this can be used to manifest money as well. So in order to manifest more money with water, you're going to take some money and your water bottle or your glass of water and you're basically going to put your water bottle or your glass of water on top of the bill like this. And just let it sit for a while. It's kind of like a magic potion. You know, you're kind of like charging the water with the money. And once you feel like that energy has flown into the water, you're going to drink the water. All the energy that came from your money is now inside of you. Another way to manifest money with water is if you don't have money laying around, you can take a Sharpie. And what you're gonna wanna do is write how much money you want. You can write money symbols, you know, you can write the word money on there. You can write the word love, whatever you're trying to manifest, write it on the water bottle and just let it sit for a while. That way, again, the water can get energized with all the positive words that are going into this. And then you're gonna wanna drink it as well. There was actually a doctor called Dr. Imuto, if I'm not mistaken, who did a research about water. And basically, he had two glasses of water. In the first glass of water, he talked really negative thoughts to it. Like, you're ugly, you know, like, I don't know, just negative thoughts. And with the other glass of water, he ended up talking positive thoughts. Like, I love you, you're beautiful. And after that, he took the water froze it and he was able to tell that the water that was talked negative to was actually in really bad chaos and the one he talked positive to was actually more balanced so that just goes to show us that our negative vibes actually go on further than what we really think but that also goes for positivity if we're positive we can extend that energy to the world and it does affect everything it's kind of like the butterfly effect so we got to try to make sure that we're positive and also be positive when you're writing the words you know and 
when you're doing all this. A different way to do this can also be by writing it on a piece of paper. And you can write like, let's say a thousand dollars. Thank you for an abundance of money. You can write the same things that you wrote on your water bottle, you know, money signs, you know, whatever positive thoughts come to mind. Once you have everything written inside, you're gonna wanna do similar to what we did at the beginning and take your water bottle, place a piece of paper on top of your water bottle, let it sit for a little bit, let it recharge, whatever it has to do, and then drink your water. <laughs> Now, whenever I don't have any of those materials around, what I like to do is go straight for meditation. Some people like to call it a prayer, you know, whatever you like to call it, you know, get into that state and just close your eyes and just think positive thoughts. And you can also use mantras like, I'm so thankful every day I'm getting more and more money. I am attracting more money effortlessly. Money comes to me in increasing amounts from different sources. Um, you know, stuff like that, that kind of gets the money flowing to you. And also when you say the mantras, make sure that you're saying them in the present tense. For an example, let's just say that I want a thousand dollars. I'm basically going to say, I'm so thankful. I'm so grateful that I have a thousand dollars. Repeat it to yourself, you know, get into the mood, be happy about it. Like I said, you can laugh about it, smile about it. That way your energy kind of increases while you're thinking about it. Like I said, we want those emotions to come out, guys. It's so important. The more emotions, the better results you're gonna get. So this next technique I used to use a lot back in the day when I used to waitress at the strip club. What I would do is take a $20 bill with me every time I would go to work and I would tell the bartender to exchange my 20 for 21s. Once I had my ones, I would put them on my garter and start my day off with money on my garter. And this was just a trick for my mind to subconsciously tell my mind that I was not in lack of money, that I already had money, all I had to do is make extra money. And this would help so much. When you feel the lack of money, you start bringing negativity into you. You know, you wanna be in the positive mindset. You need to be aligned. So if you guys wanna try this, you know, start your work day by having some money in your money bag or your garter, you know, wherever you keep your money, you know? And hopefully your mind gets tricked too and hopefully that helps you attract more and more money. So this next one's pretty simple. I actually do this all the time, not only when I'm at work. But remember I told you guys we have to respect money? Well, the way I like to respect my money is by organization. And organization to me basically means to face all of the bills to the same direction. So I just unorganized the bills real quick. That way I could show you guys. But do you guys see how this bill is facing down? What I always do is face them up. And then I also make sure the rest of the bills are facing the same way. Also, if you have like hundreds, twenties, tens, fives, and ones, what I like to do is organize them by lowest to highest. So I'll put my $1 bills at the front and then my fives, tens, 20s and hundreds you know and when i'm organizing my money i just say thank you for coming into my life thank you so much thank you thank you thank you i'm so grateful you know and continue doing that when i'm at work i really don't count my money but i do face them and try to respect my money as much as possible that way whenever i get done with work it's easier for me to count and everything's organized and everything so yeah girls have actually suggested this next technique to me but i personally haven't tried it all they say is to basically buy a red gold or green candle light it up and to do your mantras get into your emotions and everything just kind of meditate on it or pray on it and you know it's supposed to work but like I said I haven't tried it yet but it's on my to-do list for sure so the last one I want to talk about is music this one I feel like is so powerful to me I actually have three songs to kind of manifest more money and the first song is an old song I don't know if you guys know it but it's Plenty Money by Plies and the second song I listen to before work is by Rocco and it's called This Morning. Now the third one is the one I'm embarrassed about. <laughs> My third money song makes me come. <laughs> Y'all don't necessarily have to listen to these songs, you know, find songs that help you make money. 
these are just what gets me going gets my vibration up especially if i'm like jamming in a good mood and stuff and i just start singing the lyrics like it has worked for me so many times it's literally magic guys we're manifesting money with our own energy and stuff and i feel like it's so vital for you guys to believe in what you guys are doing because if you guys don't believe in it it's not going to work for you guys and it's going to be a waste of time so make sure you believe it from the bottom of your soul and your heart and whatever technique you use you know all i hope is that the universe brings you what you asked for but yeah guys these are my money manifestation tips to you guys i hope it wasn't a little too weird but like i said this is what works for me if you guys want to try it out you guys are welcome to try it out let me know what happens and if you guys don't want to use them that's fine too you know um whatever works for you like i said i just want to share these tips with you guys i've been wanting to do this video for a long time now so I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys have any comments, questions, make sure to comment down below. Give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.